All right, guys, welcome back to Train Enable, or if this is your first time, welcome in general. I'm Kyle, and this is where we go over all things fitness. Lately, I've been giving y'all some home workouts to do, and today's no different. Today, we're gonna hit them arms a little bit as we go through a two-part workout again. And this time, we're not gonna limit your rest, so it's all on you. If you are returning and you have been here with us for a while, thanks for subscribing, thanks for coming back. So let's get into it. We're gonna go over all the weighted stuff first, and then we'll circle back around to go over the unweighted stuff. So we're gonna do what they call a buy-in, right? So you have to complete this work before you can move on. We're gonna do five rounds of five push press, then we're gonna do 10 bent over row, 15 curls, and once you completed five rounds of that, we're gonna do 50 single arm snatch. So. Hang tight, grab your dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever you got. I'm gonna grab mine real quick. All you need is one. So let's go over uh, the push press. If you have two, you're more than welcome to use two. I'm just gonna demo with one. Dumbbell's gonna come to the shoulder. I'm going to dip, drive, press overhead. Then I'll come back down to the shoulder to complete that next rep. If you only have one, I'm gonna encourage you to work on the same side for the whole round, and then you'll move to the other side the next round. Because after that, we're going to go 10 bent over row. So shoulders go back, little bend of the knee, going to bend over like the name suggests. I'm going to pull at the elbow to bring that dumbbell high. I'm going 10 here. After that, I'm going to come up onto that same arm. I'm going to do 15 curls. <sighs> That's one round. Then I'll repeat on the other side if I only have one dumbbell. If I have two, you're just gonna go as normal. Cool? Once we've completed our five rounds, we're going to do the dumbbell snatch, and you're doing 50 of them. So, dumbbell's gonna come to the ground. I'm going to jump, pull, punch, stand. So that was kind of like a slow-mo rep, so again, full speed, it'll be like this. The more I use my legs, the happier my arm will be, okay? Once I got done with the 50, I get to rest for however long I feel I need until I'm back at it. Then I'm gonna do that five rounds again of the five, 10, 15. Then I'm gonna do 50 cleans or 50 single dumbbell cleans, depending on whether you have one or two dumbbells. So I'm gonna show you with one again, cause that's what I got today. We're going to have the dumbbell touching the ground. You're gonna jump, clean, stand. If you did the clean yesterday, and I'll link it up here from our workout, you can do the hang dumbbell clean or hang dumbbell power clean here. Right, so that way legs are getting a little break if you're toasted from yesterday. Cool. That's our weighted option. Unweighted, we're going to switch out that push press for the pike push up. So, again, if you've been with us for a little bit, you've probably seen that we can do this from the couch or we can do it from the floor. The pike push up from the couch or chair, bench, whatever you got at home. I'm going to put my feet up on the edge here. I'm going to walk the hands close. Head's going to come out in front of the hands. Nose goes to the knees as I finish. If that's too challenging, I'll move to the floor, kind of in that same funky position. Head comes out in front, nose to the knees. That's our replacement for that push press. For the bent over row, you're gonna have to get creative. You can grab a bag of dog food, heavy book. I've seen people use chairs and all kinds of weird stuff, but I'm going to demonstrate with a pillow. Obviously this is not very heavy, but I can hold on to it with two arms, yeah. pull to the chest. Again, sometimes it's not what you're doing, how you're doing it. So go fast and it'll still work. That's our replacement for the bent over row. If you're doing the curl without dumbbells, kind of the same thing. Come back to your handy dandy pillow. Do the curl there. Sometimes it's not what you do, but how you do it. Instead of the single arm snatch, we're going to do 50 push-ups with a shoulder tap. So what that looks like is exactly what it sounds like. Do the push up, tap the shoulder, that's one. Push up, tap the shoulder, two. 
not only are you going to do that for the dumbbell snatch, but also for the clean on that second time through. So hope you guys have fun, work hard, get sweaty, don't die. Like, comment, subscribe, send to a friend, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for our home workout. Well, I'm counting. You're already recording. All right, audio check.